So, just going to say that this theory is kind of wild, so feel free not to take it too seriously. Anyway, throughout the Monkey Kids Season 3 sets, we see these red monkeys. According to the sets, these are Makek's Shadow Clones. However, we've already seen what Makek's Shadow Clones look like in the show. And the clones in the show and the clones in the sets look nothing alike. They are not even the same colours. The clones in the show are purple slash magenta, while the clones in the Season 3 sets are bright red. Now, the designs in the sets are not always show accurate. That's because the Monkey Kid sets are made before the show itself is finalised. And sometimes the designs for the show are changed after the sets are released or put into production. However, the clones' designs were already established in Season 1, long before the sets were made for Season 3. So, what I'm getting at is, the clones' designs were probably going to change in the show in Season 3, but then they didn't do that. So... Some of the initial concept art was also released for Season 3. Here we see McKeck at the top and some of his shadow clones on the sides. Despite McKeck's powers always being purple or purple-pink themed in Season 1 and Season 2, in this concept art he is emulating a red aura and his clones are red in both this concept art and in the Season 3 sets. So you would assume that, oh, they were going to change his powers to make them red for Season 3, but no, they didn't do that. Anyway, I did also try to translate the Chinese in the concept art with Google Lens. I was mostly only able to translate parts of each sentence on the columns. And without the missing characters, who knows what these say. However, here I was able to fully translate these two sentences. The first one says imposter, and the other one says you want me. Or deceives you. Anyway, clearly there was something significant planned for McKeck in Season 3 which would have caused such a drastic colour palette shift and change to the clones. Whatever was planned for McKeck in Season 3 was obviously cut out, possibly because they couldn't fit it in. And I am going to go off the assumption that whatever was planned for McKeck in Season 3, we will see in future seasons. Now, if you watched this video, I discuss how I strongly believe McKeck is or was a hair clone of Sun Wukong. The video goes more in depth, but essentially I believe this because he looks a lot like Sun Wukong. He has a lot of the same powers as Sun Wukong. We know clones can develop their own personalities in Monkey Kid. And in the book Monkey Kid is based off, Journey to the West, the six-eared macaque is actually made from slash part of Sun Wukong. And this video explains that part. Anyway, since clones can be poofed away, if Makek is a hair clone of Sun Wukong, something must have made him unpoofable. So I think he made a deal with a demon to make him permanent. Specifically a shadow demon because that would explain Makek's shadow powers. I think Makek having made a deal with a demon would explain why he is red themed in this concept art and why his clones are red and so drastically different in the sets than they are in the show. Think about it. What if there are consequences to his deal with this shadow demon? And now these consequences are catching up to him and he's becoming corrupted. Hence the colour change. So, aside from the concept art and the clone minifigures, we also see some interesting stuff concerning Makek's minifigure. If Makek is a hair clone, his face marking would have started out looking like Sun Wukong's and possibly would have grown bigger and redder and gotten spikes. And if we look at Makek's first minifigure, it has two face markings. One almost the same as Sun Wukong's, except kind of red with tiny spikes, and another face marking on the other side of the head that is show accurate. Now if you look at the face on Makek's Season 3 minifigure, you can see it's actually even bigger and spikier. So, lining up all these faces, including Sun Wukong's for reference, you can see how Makek's face marking would have grown. So, I think the fact that his face marking seems to have turned red and gotten bigger and spikier is linked to how he is completely red themed in this concept art, and how his clones are red in the Season 3 set, because it is the same colour red. Anyway, essentially I'm thinking Makek made a deal with a red themed shadow demon for the consequence is that he is slowly being corrupted, causing his face marking to slowly get redder, larger and spikier, and causing his powers and clones to become red. Now what demon could this possibly be? Well, in Journey to the West, the book Monkey Kid is based off, there are many, many demons. One of them is the Python Demon, who appears in Journey to the West, Volume 3, Chapter 67. This Python Demon is a giant red snake. And it is pretty much the only red demon. Red boy might maybe count, but he isn't red, that's just his name. Probably because he has fire powers. Now, other than being red, is there any other evidence that the python demon could be the possible demon Makek made a deal with? Yes, actually. First of all, there are no shadow demons in Journey to the West. 
And no, while a monkey kid the six-year macaque has shadow powers, that is not the case in Journey to the West. Anyway, the powers of the Python Demon are pretty similar to shadow powers. When the Python Demon comes, the clouds and the wind come with it, and it departs with the mist and fog. Additionally, when it comes, it is said, massive black clouds cover the starry sky, and that lamps and lights fade as the whole earth grew dark. Essentially, the Python Demon causes wind, darkness, fog, and black clouds. I can easily see this being interpreted or adapted as shadows. Furthermore, the faces of Makek's shadow clones in the sets look awfully similar to a snake head or skull. Look at those fangs, I mean, come on. Also, this may be a little bit of a stretch, but these armor patterns on the Season 3 Makek minifigure kind of look like scales. Also, the Python Demon is described as having scarlet clouds covering his body. And these patterns on the front and back of the clone minifigures look pretty much exactly like red slash scarlet clouds. Also, I do want to note that Monkey Kid does have a history of adapting the Journey to the West villains to not be 100% the same as they were in the book. For example, in the original book, Lady Bone Demon's only goal is to eat the monk's flesh, and Spider Queen isn't even in the original book, although she is clearly inspired by the seven spider sister demons. So... It is not much of a stretch to think that the Python Demon who causes darkness and black clouds would be adapted into a Shadow Demon in Monkey Kid. So, to sum up, I think Makek is a hair clone of Sun Wukong, and to become permanent, he made a deal with the Python Demon, who is red and would be a Shadow Demon. And because of this deal, Makek is slowly being corrupted, and I think this would have been revealed in Season 3, but there probably wasn't enough time for this, so I believe it will be revealed in future seasons. Okay, thanks for watching. I do have more Monkey Kid animations coming, but I had to, you know, drop my theory videos first, just in case the Season 4 trailer dropped soon and my theories got, like, proven, you know, you never know. Anyway, bye!